13 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction, your home team. Meteorologist Michael Barron's outside on the weather deck tonight. And Michael, not needing a jacket tonight. It's been nice to give that a few days break. Yeah, I mean, it's been really nice this weekend when it came to the temperatures. It feels just awesome outside, though it is getting a little bit breezier. We'll see those breezy conditions stick around West Michigan into this week. The temperatures, they stick around too, at least for another day or two. But then as we head past Wednesday, well, temperatures are all downhill, so get ready for more of the jacket weather here before too long. Out there today, though, was a beautiful time to get out and take in some of those fall leaves. This picture in from Bill in Ravenna. Beautiful shot there through the woods. Not really going to ask for a better day to get out and enjoy things compared to what we had for today. Of course, we always love to share your photos here at 13 on your side. You can send them to me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. When it came to the temperatures today, we tied a record in Muskegon with that high of 80 in the top 10 warmest in Grand Rapids with 75. Last year, we were only at 50 for the date. Record in Grand Rapids at 83 degrees. On target forecast tracker told you 76 hit 75. That's inside three degrees now two days in a row. We hope to continue that tomorrow with some pretty similar temperatures to what we had out there today. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in green as no change is foreseen, but blinking bright because some thunder showers may be possible as we head through tonight. View of the 13 weather ball sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. We're looking at temperatures this hour, still 70s across the region. 73 Grand Rapids, 77 in Muskegon, 75 in Holland. You've noticed a little bit more in the way of cloud cover as we work our way past sundown here tonight. We'll see the clouds keep increasing over the next several hours. And again, the rain chances should arrive after midnight tonight. Winds out there still breezy, gusting to 25 in Holland, 15 in Grand Rapids, and 18 the gust in Hastings at this hour. Through the overnight hours tonight, we'll see winds sustained between 5 to 15 through most of the overnight period. Temperatures still in the 70s for the next couple of hours will in fact still be in the mid to upper 60s by midnight tonight. Low temperatures only going to drop to around 58 degrees. Clouds will continue to increase throughout the next several hours with thunder showers possible overnight tonight. A few isolated showers may persist past sunrise tomorrow, but for the most part, Monday is just a fairly cloudy but dry day. 74 going to be the high Tuesday. Temperatures Temperatures drop some down to 68 showers and thunderstorms take over, especially by the afternoon. A few places may see rain early, mostly along the lakeshore, but for the most part, the rain really picks up Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. Here's a look at the latest radar across West Michigan, already seeing some of the shower activity develop over there on the lake, some thunder north of Milwaukee as well. Big picture here shows this pattern kind of moving in from the southwest. That's going to be heading to Grand Rapids over the next several hours. And again, we're going to track the risk for rain as we head through tonight. Hour by hour forecast shows rain between now and midnight starting to pop up mostly to the north of Grand Rapids here in the city. Our best chances will come as we head past midnight tonight. We'll keep the rain chances around through early Monday morning, but as we head past sunrise, what remains of the rain will start to fade out and the cloud cover will stick around. Cloud cover continues to increase as we work our way through Monday and into early Tuesday, followed by the bigger rounds of rain that come in for Tuesday. Rain chances before noon, mostly along the lake shore, then overspread the entirety of West Michigan by Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. Everyone expected to get rain between Tuesday and Wednesday. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. We're going to see temperatures stay above average for Monday and Tuesday, but then once we hit Wednesday, it's all downhill. Temperature 50 that high early in the day, falling through the 40s through the rest of the day. We end the week in the 50s with, well, a dry weekend, but rain possible for Halloween.